all right, Mr. Britt? Yes. No one was hurt. There were only two of us on the platform. Look around here. I had one of the crooks, but lost him when we fell. Here? Where's the car? me before we could uncouple Robert's cars. Then the train broke in two on the grade. But Robert's stuff in the front section went through safely. Then we can thank the Green Hornet for breaking our hold on young Roberts. And that isn't all. Max Grigger, he was taken by the G-men last night. Look at that. The Sentinel was the only paper that had the story. There's some connection there. What do you mean? Just this. The Green Hornet uses the Sentinel as a mouthpiece. Makes a hero of himself through publicity. We've got to stop that by silencing the sentinel. Hey, look here, boss. Gunnigan tells me you killed my story in the Cooper Zoo. That's right. But listen, that's a good yarn. The place is jinxed, I tell you. Accidents every few days. Some of the animals die without any good reason. A bear broke loose the other day and mauled a customer. The Cooper Zoo and Carnival is the only playground in this city. If we print that story, we'll put them out of business. Yes, but if it's true, the place is jinxed. It isn't true, and I don't believe in jinxes. If things are happening out there, there's a reason for it. We'll find the reason and then publish the story. Get Cooper on the phone for me, please. Yes, sir. Mr. Cooper, please. Mr. Reed of the Daily Sentinel. Oh, he has. Thank you. Mr. Cooper has gone down to the docks to receive a shipment of animals. Maybe we can catch him there. My car is right outside. Come on, James. Is down this way. Wait a minute, I want to look at this. You've got no business to see it. You came in on a press pass. Uh... That's 
the last word, Cooper. Up till now, we've just been playing with you. Giving you a little bit of hard luck. But unless you come across with five grand by tomorrow night, the Cooper Zoo is going out of business. But I can't raise the money. The shows haven't made a cent since those accidents started. I'm not interested in your hard luck stories. Unless you come across with five grand by tomorrow night. Yes? Well, the boys from the Sentinel. All right, I'll see them. Thanks. Wait a minute, I got an appointment with those fellas. Forget it. Tell him you can't see him. Okay. Tell Jenkins I'm sorry, I can't see him. That's better. Talking to those reporters from the Sentinel is as dangerous as talking to the police. I told you I couldn't see you. Yeah, I know that, but you can't do that to me. I'm here by appointment, and I want an interview on those, uh, accidents you've been having. Uh, nothing to say. And why not? Is there something phony about your show that you don't want folks to learn about? All right, Cooper, get these men out of here. My business is important. No man with an honest business need be afraid to talk to the Sentinel. But if you're trying to cover up anything... That'll do, Mike. You know, we reporters never try to force interviews from people. You don't what? Sorry, Cooper. Better luck next time. Come on, Mike. Forget those guys. The Sentinel's gonna be taken care of shortly. Unless you have that money here by tomorrow night. Where do you get that stuff reporters never force interviews? Listen, Lug, I wanted to get out. Unless I miss my guess, that other guy in there was Lefty Bates who did a stretch for extortion and blackmail three years ago. You're... All right, Miss Case, take this. In regard to your letter, here's the picture of Lefty Bates we made when he was a convicted. Well, what about the one Jenks took out the He's having developed. Here he is now. There you are, boss. If that isn't a picture of Lefty Bates, and I'm losing my memory. There's nothing wrong with your memory, Jenks. That's the man, all right. Ah, that's fine. I'll give the police a tip and... Easy there. Sure, he's an ex-con, but that doesn't mean that he's doing anything illegal now. But the guy's working some sort of a protection racket at the zoo. By the way, he talked to Cooper's 10 to 1. He's got something on him. Well, you're probably right. But until you bring me concrete evidence, the Sentinel cannot make a charge. Oh, I'll get you evidence, all right. And a story that'll bust his racket wide open. All ready, Chief. Sentinel reporters visited the Cooper Zoo today. I've made arrangements for the silencing of Britt Reed. Bates will collect $5,000 from Cooper tonight. Have enough men at the zoo grounds to take care of things in case of interference. That's all. Dean will get in touch with Bates and find out what arrangements have been made and then join the rest of you at the zoo. All right. There is danger in the Hornet visiting the zoo, Mr. Britt. There are too many people, too much right. You forget there's a carnival there, Cato. A lot of the performers will be wearing masks. So it's the one spot in the city where the Green Hornet might go, among others, unnoticed.
What do you expect to do here? We'll find out who's causing all the accidents and nab them. <laughs> You'll be safe here. Oh, we're not doing any good here. This is a job for the cops. Sure, but the boss won't let us call them in without more evidence. What's the matter with you? I could have sworn I saw the green hornet. <laughs> it's just one of those chumps running around in a mask. collecting for Bates and his gang. I collect for myself. Collect for yourself? Then you don't belong to Bates and his gang? Give me back that money. Well, they'll wreck my zoo. They'll kill me. Keep back. Well, take care of Bates. From now on, you're dealing with me. Tell Bates that when he comes in here. Gone to collect from Cooper. Yeah, and suppose Cooper don't come across. I'm to meet Bates by the cat cages in five minutes. If he isn't there, we'll go to the office and find out why. Ready, Mr. Bates? Not yet. Here, take this $5,000 protection money. It belongs to Cooper. Be ready for a quick getaway. Let's have the dough. Come on, make it snappy. The boys are waiting. But I... I haven't got it. You're lying to me, Cooper. I've had you trailed ever since you left here today. My boys were in the bank with you when you cashed the check. Well, that's true. But I gave the money to the Green Hornet. The Green Hornet? Yes, he was here ahead of you. I thought he came from you. You're lying. No. You can't stall me with that cock and bull story. Come across or I'll tip off the boys and they'll wreck your show. I don't think you will, Bates. The Green Hornet. Take your hand away from that gun. What do you want? A signed statement concerning your protection racket. I'll sign nothing. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. You just heard what you told Cooper. I want it on paper, and I'll give you 10 seconds to put it there. All right. I, Lefty Bates, ex-convict. No, I won't do it. Right. One of those babies get loose and it makes this crowd stir their legs. See, more than one of them get loose if Cooper makes any trouble. They ought to be here by now. Come on, Corey, let's take a look. Oh, we might as well go home. Yeah, I think we had to. Give me some peanuts. Oh, yeah. Hey, look over there for the popcorn wagon. Two of them guys was in the car stealing racket. Thank you. You better get a cop. Cop, is it? Haven't I been a cop half my life? Come on. 
One minute, you mugs. I want to work with you. Sentinel men, get them. Hey, be careful, my friend. Thank you. 